how's it going? My name's Brianna. This video was inspired by Nam June's speech at the UN last year. Those words kind of became really important to me, um, and I know they became important to a lot of other people. So I interviewed some fellow fans um, at the LA Rose Bowl shows, um, and this is what this is what happened. <laughs> I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye. Um, I'm 21, I'm from California. Um, so my name is Candace, I'm 28, and I'm from Minnesota. My name is Amy, I'm 24, from Minnesota. We're sisters. Friends. And I'm, I'm from California. Oh, yeah, we're both from California, and I'm 13. But I do that Hi, my name is Reagan. I'm 25 years old, and I'm from South Florida. Kalia, I'm 17, from Washington, D.C. Hi, my name is Nicole Tillotson. I'm 24 years old. I'm an old army. <laughs> I'm Aya. Uh, I'm 24. I'm from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. My name is Amanda and uh, I'm 46 years old and I'm from Taiwan. Yeah, this is my friends from Taiwan and, and Hong Kong. <laughs> I'm Ali. I'm 23. I'm from Seattle. I'm McKenna. I'm 23 from Seattle. Wanda. I'm 23 also from Seattle. <laughs> I'm Alex. I'm 19 from LA. <laughs> My bias is Nam June. My bias record, Yoongi, Jae Young. Sometimes Jimin comes in. I might just be OT7 till heaven at this point. I just don't know. And Jimin is my bias record. Jimin! Yeah. Our favorite one! <laughs> my bias is Jungkook. Bias is me. Jungkook for sure. J-Hope. Bias is J-Hope with a strong Jimin bias record always. <laughs> I love it all. The bias is Yoongi. Yes. The bias is Taehyung. Bias record Yoongi. I don't have a bias. <laughs> this is too far. <laughs> My favorite song is Spring Day, um, and there's a specific reason for both of us involved. Mm -hmm. There was a period of time where I kind of got lost in my track, and then like that song is about finding your best friend again. Mm -hmm. So. so. <laughs> I'm Paimon in home because it's a bop. I like Save Me, and I'm fine. Save Me. So right now, uh, from the current album, it has to be Microcosmos. My favorite song is Serendipity. I know it's a solo song, okay? Sorry. But it is my favorite song, okay? Well, Spring Day is the song that like made me start taking BTS seriously. And then Serendipity is like what really got me hooked. Probably fake love. It might be I'm fine, because like when I'm really stressed, I'm like, you know what? I am fine. Thank you. I'm feeling just fine. And right now I'm feeling fine. Honestly, War of Hormone, I think it's the first song I heard by them. So that holds like a special place in my heart too. Um, also just the banger. Uh, right now, currently, I just, I, it's hard to. Actually, I lied. So, well, if it is, you do. Be honest. Not run. <laughs> no one gives her the um, representation. I don't know if I can choose, but I really love Home. Home is a really good song. One of like the biggest like eras for me was like most beautiful moment in life. And then I really liked like, Waylon and Autumn Leaves. Those two like really gave me a lot of feels. <laughs> We're 
like it was our like unofficial um army color which is like purple like that moment always just hits and like i love that moment even though it's like sad i guess you could not sad but um <laughs> emotional seeing them at the grammy museum it was really cool seeing them there and like having Yoongi, hearing Yoongi like talk about his music and like you can just tell that BTS are like really in it for like the music and the fans and like that just makes me love them and appreciate them. Appreciate and respect them like way even more. Uh, I'm a teacher so I teach like uh, teenagers so I think they are really great role model for them so that's I think they were very inspired. So I think that's why I like yeah. I had a watch party for SNL <laughs> and that was probably the coolest thing ever because we had little themed drinks and like the wine from Dionysus and it was just like having friends that understand is something that you can't take for granted, you know? Um, my favorite moment Maybe any time they win like an American award just because they always look so shocked that they can't believe it happened. But it's like, no, you work hard, you deserve it. And like, we love you, you know? Um, and anything like Namjoon ever says in like fan cafes, like when he said, that's not me, fellas, I felt it spiritually. They made my life so much better than it already is. Same. <laughs> <laughs> Like they help me find a lot of friends through like K-pop dance groups. BTS has like introduced me to so many new friends, which I'm so excited for, and I love the community that comes along with K-pop and BTS. Um, they helped me through depression. Yeah. So like she said, like so we're sisters and we've always been like best friends. And then for a while, she got in like, an abusive relationship, so we stopped talking. And then BTS kind of reunited us. So, I guess they're kind of everything. Yeah. So. The community that comes along with K-pop and the fandom and being an army is like I can meet people because I live in a big city in New York, even though we're in LA, and I can meet people like on Twitter or through mutual friends that are also fans of BTS and literally just go like sit on their couch and just like watch edit videos all night, like at midnight, which is somebody that I just met that same day, and like we just get it and we get each other, and there's that love for each other that. Not a lot of people have, even with the wide age range and diversity of that. So it's just a beautiful thing, and I love BTS and the ARMY so much. I wanted to talk about how BTS has like impacted me. They've really inspired me to try to love myself more, because it's always been something I struggled with. And so when I watched RM's speech at the UN, I like really resonated with it, especially when he was like, you'll speak yourself, like say your, like, what's your name? That's what I do, I kind of hide behind people and not, so yeah. So I bought um, the Love Yourself necklace, the UNICEF collaboration, and it's a reminder to myself to like, try to, I guess, love myself more. And so I think it's also a really important message that they're spreading, you know. Yeah. It's changed my life completely. I've met so many new people in my life that I never thought I would connect with. I feel like BTS have such a strong connection with their fans that it makes you love them even more. And I can't explain like just their music and their lyrics, they've done so much for me and they've helped me through the toughest times of my life. And I'm very, very extremely grateful and like to be here and see them at a stadium, like it's so impactful for them and it's so impactful for everyone here. So that's, yeah. Just be happy. Do whatever you want for everyone else. Period. Don't cook if you want piercings, go for it. Go for it. Jimin, if you want more tattoos, go for it. If y'all want to shave y'all head, go for it. <laughs> Period. I love, you. Um, I love you for sure. <laughs> Thank you for all you do. And um, stay happy and healthy. And eat whatever you want and do yes. whatever you want. Please yeah. eat whatever you want. <laughs> I would say I love you. And Thank you for bringing us all together and yeah. I tell them that I want them to eat more and sleep more and rest more and stop cranking out albums and go on a vacation. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, eat more, sleep more. And we love you always. Yeah. Thank you. Um thank you for saving my life. I love you. 
keep going. <laughs> if I could say anything to BTS, it would be thank you. Really, from the bottom of my heart, you changed my life. You made me more positive. I love everything a lot more now. I've gotten to go on this crazy adventure into California, which I never thought I would do. I'm meeting all these cool new friends. It's amazing. I'm so thankful. I'm so blessed. So keep doing your thing. I'll keep you an army. We'll, we'll be friends forever. So I really do feel like we're friends. And we're going to be friends for the rest of our lives. And let's just enjoy it together. If you're a part of this video, thank you so much. If you would like to be a part of a future video, maybe I could keep doing these. I don't know, I guess we'll see. <laughs> Thanks for watching, bye. If you like this video, like it, share it, let other people see it, I'm gonna go now. Thank you, bye.